Hey guys, welcome back to another video. All right, so today I'm taking a look at the new Thrunite T2. Let's check it out. So the Through Night T2 comes in this pretty standard cardboard looking box. And as you can see, not much information on the sides. We have a little illustration right there. And then we have nothing on the bottom. So let's open this box up and take a look at the Through Night. Still in the box. So let me take this out and I wanna show you guys what else is in here. All right, so here's everything out of the box. And first thing we have this nylon holster. So this holster is Velcro as you can see, but on the back side. It's not. So if you wanna wear this, you had to thread your belt through here. And then on the sides, we have some elastic and uh, as far as holsters go, it's okay. All right, next we have the USB-C charging cable. And in this bag here, we do have a lanyard along with some spare rubber O-rings. And then it looks like there's a thank you card here and your standard user manual. All right, now let's take a look at the new Thrunite T2 out of the box. I'll give you guys a nice little close up of this bad boy. And while you guys are checking this out, let's quickly talk about some of the features. All right, so it has 3,757 max lumens with a 158 meter throw. It's impact resistant up to 1.5 five meters and it is IPX8 dust and waterproof which means it is submersible up to two meters now as far as I can tell it doesn't come in any other colors but it does have two different color temps it comes in a cool white or a neutral white this one that I have is the cool white version now the main body here is made of 6061 t6 aluminum alloy and it has some pretty aggressive knurling right here this is actually pretty nice so this pattern actually helps with the grip so when I'm holding this it doesn't feel like it's gonna slip out really easy now right here we have this black two-way pocket clip and I really like this because as you guys can see it's a lens down deep carry pocket clip now right here near the head of the flashlight we do have a USB-C type C charging port that does support fast charging and then right on the other side we do have our side switch now this is how you turn the flashlight on and off and does cycle through our five modes plus strobe. Also right dead center, it has an LED light indicator. It lights up solid red when charging and it lights up solid blue when it's 100%. It also acts as a battery life indicator. So if I press it once right now, it shows blue. That means I'm over 21% battery life. If it showed red, that means the battery life is between 11 and 20%. And if it flashed red, it's under 10%. And I'm not sure if you guys heard that click when I pushed the button, but listen, yeah. It's a clicky side switch. And before you guys ask, no, it does not have a tail switch. Now we have a pretty thick bezel right here. And as you can see, there's a single Cree XHP70 LED right there. All right, now let's check out the battery here. So let's open up this bad boy right here. And it looks like it's a 5,000 milliamp, 21700 3.6 volt battery. And yes, guys, this is a proprietary 21700. All right, so now that's all the way. Let's talk dimensions. So the Through Night T2 has a length of 4.41 inches, has a head diameter of 1.201 inches, and has a body diameter of 1.02 inches. And they say it weighs 87 grams on the website without the battery, so let's test that. All right, so took the battery out, so let's plop this bad boy on my scale. This is a weighs 3.1 ounces, and that would come out to be all right, 88 grams. So that's not too far off. I will take that, but let's weigh it with the battery because that's how we're all going to carry this. All right, let's put it back on the scale. Let's keep it in grams. All right, 168 grams with the battery and that comes out to be, all right, 5.9 ounces. So yeah, guys, with the battery, it's not the lightest flashlight in the world. All right, so now let's go over the UI here. And just like in every other through night flashlight, it is a short press on short press off of that side switch. And when it's on, what we wanna do is hold down the side switch to cycle the mode. So there's low, medium, and high. And yes, there is a memory function. So if I have it on high here, turn it off, turn it back on, it remembers high. So let's try low here, turn it off. There you go. Yes, there is a direct to firefly mode from off. We hold down the side switch and there we go. There's our firefly mode. And yes, there is a direct to turbo mode from off. We double press and there is our full 3,757 lumens. Wow. And to access our strobe, you guys guessed it, 
triple press, and there's our strobe. All right, let's go over those lumens and runtime. So Firefly is only 0.3 lumens, which I love that, and has a runtime for 69 days. We have a 30 lumen low, and that runs for 77 hours. On medium is 366 lumens, and that runs for 7.5 hours. And then our high is 1,712 lumens, and that has a runtime of three minutes. But then it dips down to 732 minutes after the three minutes, and then we get 223 minutes of runtime. And then we go to turbo, that's our 3,000 757 lumens that'll run for two minutes and then it dips down to 725 lumens and that'll run for 216 minutes and our max turbo also has a candela of 6300 all right so now let's go over the heat test here so i'm going to access turbo on the flashlight let it run for about two minutes and then take its temperature. And yes, I'm going to speed up the footage, but watch the beam over here and see if you see any light fluctuations. So if I see the beam dip a little bit on turbo while I'm editing, I'm gonna let you guys know right before I start the test here. All right, that's about it. So let's do turbo and start. All right, that's exactly two minutes. So let's take the temperature right at the bezel. Hold on, is that right? All right, there we go, 120.2. Let's take it near the side switch here. About the same thing, 122.1. And then let's take it right there at the body and the body is 106.1. So I know it definitely dipped, but it's really hard to see just with the naked eye staring at this thing for two minutes. So. I'm pretty sure that light was fluctuating a little bit. And yeah, picking this up here, it's definitely warm, but not hot enough where I have to wear gloves. Uh, maybe at the head, it's too hot to touch, but right here at the body, it's not that bad. All right, so next, I'm gonna take the T2 out to my backyard and check out the beam pattern on this and see how bright it lights up my backyard. And plus, I just wanna see what that cool white beam looks like back there. And also, I wanna compare it to the Olight Baton Pro that I have right here. And yes, these are very similar flashlights here. I mean, lengthwise, the T2 has about an eighth of an inch on the Baton Pro, but diameter-wise, it's much thicker, as you can see. And if I hold it side by side right there, you can see what I'm talking about, and yes, I am charging it right now before I go outside. Now the T2 is 3,757 lumens with a 158 meter throw, but the Baton Pro here is 2,000 lumens with a 132 meter throw. They're both IPX8 and they both have an impact resistance of 1.5 meters. So as you guys can see, they are very, very similar, except for the fact that the Olight Baton Pro is about $20 more expensive at $89.95 as opposed to $69.95 for the T2. All right, guys, that's about it. Let's take these out to my backyard.
right, so as you guys can see from my backyard test that this is a pretty widespread beam. It's more of a floodlight and does have a nice even spread to its beam. But I don't know if you guys can tell on my back fence, it had a pretty wide hotspot as opposed to the more narrow beam here of the Baton Pro as you guys saw. All right, so let's do the desk test here. So I'm gonna put them both on medium. And as you can see, look at that wide beam of the T2 as opposed to the nice tight beam of the Baton Pro. And if I move them in closer, you can see what I'm talking about. So look how spread out that is. And look, even if I go farther, so spread out. So yes, if you guys are looking for a nice floodlight, I think this T2 is a solid choice. Looking for a nice tighter beam, go with the Baton Pro. And I don't know if you guys can really tell on my desk here, but the T2 is a little bit warmer than the Baton Pro here, but not really by much. You really have to look to see the color difference here. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the Through Night T2? So overall, I really like this flashlight. I love the build quality. It feels really solid. And it's a really nice size. In the hand, it feels great. It looks like it was made just for me. I love the fact that it has a USB-C fast charging. At 3,757 lumens, it's really bright, but doesn't have much of a throw at 158 meters. But if you're not looking for throw and just looking for a flashlight to light up everything around you, you might want to check this out. There are a couple things I don't like about it. For its size, it is pretty hefty, especially if you're trying to EDC this and have it carrying around in your pocket all day. And next, I'm not really sure how I feel about this clicky button. Not sure if I like it or not. Not that it doesn't feel nice, but I'm just so used to non-clicky side buttons. And the last thing I don't like is, I kind of wish they gave us a tail switch here. But other than those small gripes, I think you get a lot in a small package, especially for $69.95. Now I will leave links below in my description box if you guys want to check this thing out. But if you did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go!